हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई ब्रॉट सम इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस फॉर योर इंट्रांस एग्जामिनेशंस दिस क्वेश्चंस आर इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर योर ऑल टाइप ऑफ कॉम्पिटेटिव इंट्रांस एग्जामिनेशंस फॉर सेंजेवियर्स प्रसादी एस ओ एस के एम सी एंड अदर डिफरेंट कलेजेज नाउ लेटेस्ट मूव टू द सम बेसिक इन्फर्मेशन एट फर्स्ट एंड विल मूव टू द क्वेश्चन सम ऑफ एन नेचुरल नंबर्स इफ वी एड नेचुरल नंबर्स देन आर फॉर्मुला टू कैलकुलेट दियर सम इज यस एन इज इक्वल टू एन एन प्लस वन डिवाइडेड बाई टू इफ वी एड फर्स्ट टेन नेचुरल नंबर्स इट विल गिव अस फिफ्टी फाइव इफ वी एड फर्स्ट हंड्रेड नेचुरल नंबर्स इट विल गिव फाइव जीरो फाइव जीरो इफ वी एड फर्स्ट वन थाउजेंड नेचुरल नंबर्स इट विल गिव फाइव जीरो जीरो फाइव जीरो जीरो एंड इफ वी एड फर्स्ट टेन थाउजेंड नेचुरल नंबर्स इट विल गिव फाइव जीरो 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 एंड फाइव जीरो दिस इज इन अ पैटर्न अप टू टेन देर इज ओनली फाइव फाइव अप टू हंड्रेड देर आर टू जीरोज अप टू वन थाउजेंड देर आर फोर जीरोज एंड अप टू टेन थाउजेंड देर आर सिक्स जीरोज एंड फाइव आर देर मेक अ पैटर्न एंड ट्राई टू रिमेम्बर दिस फाइनल वैल्यू बिकॉज इन यूर एग्जामिनेशन यू डोट हैव सफिशियंट टाइम टू कैलकुलेट दिस सो यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर दिस नाउ सम ऑफ एन नेचुरल ऑड नंबर्स दिस कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाई यूजिंग फॉर्मूला एन स्क्वायर इफ वी एड रेगुलर नेचुरल ऑड नंबर्स लेस देन टेन देन वील गेट ट्वेंटी फाइव Uh, in the same way, if we add uh, odd numbers less than fifty, we'll get six hundred and twenty-five. If we add uh, less than hundred, uh, twenty-five hundred, and less than one thousand twenty-five and four zeros, uh, and the the answer will remain same. If we say sum of uh, uh, regular natural odd numbers up to ten. If we say up to fifty, up to hundred, because if we say less than ten, there are also five odd numbers, and if we say up to ten, there are also uh, only five odd numbers. Uh, but this will change in even numbers. See, uh, the formula to calculate uh, the uh, the sum is of for first uh, even number is yes n is equal to n n plus one. If we add regular even numbers less than ten. then our answer will be 20 but if we add regular natural even uh, even number up to 10 then our answer will be 30 so we need to take care of less than or up to uh, sum of uh, regular even number less than 50 is 600 because less than 50 there are 24 odd numbers and our formula is 24 into 25 how many odd number how many even numbers are there into that number plus 1 Uh, in this way, sum of uh, regular even number less than hundred is two four five zero, and sum of regular even number less than one thousand is two four nine five zero zero. Let us see this table. Uh, for natural number less than ten, there are five odd numbers, there are four even numbers, and so on. Take care of the uh, less than or up to. Uh, if if the natural number less than hundred, there are fifty odd numbers and forty nine even numbers, but Uh, for up to hundred, there are fifty over odd numbers and fifty even numbers. Now let us see arithmetic series. A series in which the difference is same, or common difference is same, is called arithmetic series. Uh, the difference is calculated by subtracting uh, two numbers, uh, the 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 second number uh, by first number, or t n minus t n minus one. And nth term is calculated by using formula t n is equal to a plus n minus one into d. And sum of n term is calculated by using formula n by 2 a plus l, where a is the first term, l is the last term, and another formula is n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d. Uh, similarly, there is geometric series. In geometric series, common ratio is same. If we divide first uh, first term, uh, if we divide first term, uh, or if we divide two terms, uh, t n or t n minus 1, second term by first term. Or third term uh, by second term, then ratio should be same. Uh, so uh, our nth term is calculated by using formula a to the power r n minus one. And sum of series is yes n is equal to a one minus r. This is sum of infinity series. If the series goes up to infinity, the last term is not given, or we don't know the actual number of term, then we use this formula. There is another formula for sum to find that uh, to make a note and then solve. Now let us begin our question. What is the difference? In sum of odd numbers and even numbers less than fifty, we know that uh, sum of odd number uh, less than fifty and sum of even number less than fifty uh, from this uh, table. Sum of uh, even number less than fifty is six hundred, and sum of odd number less than fifty is six hundred twenty-five. So our answer is six hundred twenty-five minus six hundred. That is twenty-five. 
uh, sum you need to find the sum of these just see the series whether this series is geometric or arithmetic and use the formula uh, which number does not belongs to the series in such type of question we need to uh, see uh, what number will come after 18 25 so a lies in this series another way is uh, just assume the given number is a last term and use formula tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d you know the common difference here and and if that n is coming as a whole number if that n is coming as a whole number then that lies in this series but if that n is coming like 1.1 19.2 16.3 then that term does not lie in this series to solve this question question number four what is the sum of five numbers in ap whose middle term is minus five and this is also a tax for you this is so easy one try to solve this question and uh, this is also what is the uh, the product of three terms in gp whose middle term is five uh, find the sum of this series and the last term is given over here uh, which um, uh, series is this find it use your formula and comment me question number seven the sum of this this question is important uh, now uh, see the solution how to solve this question uh, the, this question is infinity series because last term is not given and we don't know what are the different uh, number of term in this series so our first term is one by two and our common ratio is uh, one by two by using your formula yes n is equal to a divided by one minus r it will give us one so option choice uh, b uh, is correct choice for this question uh, one because by uh, using this formula we will get our value one by using this formula now let us see this in this also we are provided with uh, some series uh, at the sum uh, at the power if we add this all term we will get one and three to the power one means three to the power one means it will finally give us three so our answer is answer choice b3 is the correct answer for this question uh, now the sum of present age of abcd is 100 years before three years what was their sum before three years means a was also for abcd for all they were three years younger than um, the present age so our tax for this question is to is to what we have to do is uh, total present age is 100 three years uh, before means uh, we need to subtract 12 because there are all together four person there are all together four person means uh, uh, the uh, four into three so 12 uh, when 12 is subtracted from 100 we will get our answer uh, our answer is 88 for this question uh, question um, number 10 if a plus b is equal to twice c and c plus d is equal to twice a which one is correct relation do solve this and find your answer for question number 10 and comment me thank you very much all the best for your upcoming examination